Hello guys, you're back with another video and today we're going to show you where my dad got from. Um, Amazon. Hmm. You might know, normally we open the packages here, but it's such a weird one, I've totally forgotten about it. I had to open it to see what it was. Uh -huh. I thought it was something your mum had ordered before she went away on her break, you know, going to your family. So, um, yes, I had to open it and um, it's something, a bit of a weird one. So shall I continue opening it? Yep. These are two filters. Now they're specific to, apparently, to uh, this over here. Here. Which is our um, Protec, go in front. Just read out the name of it. It is the E-Back. So, so not sorry, my mistake, try to put the other thing. E-Back. E Humidifier. Yeah. Dehumidifier. The other one is humidifier the yeah. take with the humidifier, that's a different thing. Um, I think we've done a couple of videos and I'm trying to do a review of this one. I'm not 100 percent sure. So if it is, maybe there'll be a link in the description down below. Yes. Or maybe, maybe not. Or oh, I don't know if I'll do it. Kind of one of those things on the screen. Mm -hmm. But it depends because when I do try and do upload these videos, then I'm just telling you from our perspective, um sometimes it doesn't show all the videos. So yeah. you can't put it as a um up on the screen business so if I can find a link I'll do it if we have indeed done this because this is really good we use this in the house because we have a lot of clothes to wash and the Manchester weather ain't always great today it's raining we are now in April and it's raining hailstoning it was it was hailstones we had just now so it's not ideal weather for that and um, so we've got a heated um, rack for heated you know clothes horse yep. that we bought from Lakeland and we've used that, we've done a review of that, so just check out our channel and you'll find the review of that. Um, it's pretty good, but also the moisture that it goes, you have to collect, and this collects it really good. So it's got this thing in the front here. Have I got a bit of it? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Take it out when I brought it over to this room. We normally have it in the, uh, another room. So it's got a container that gets full of water. Let me find it. There you go. Yeah, so the water collects in here. That goes in there, and then you put it in, and it tells you it goes because it can vent thing comes up, up up there when I'm over I plugged it in. Um, the main thing today is this side though we need to sort out. So the filter. So the filter's meant to be changed or cleaned, but when I looked on this side it put pretty yuck. See that? Yeah. That looked great. So I reckon we're gonna probably need to um, some of the fins here, you see the fins here, they're a bit damaged. Yeah. And there's some moisture d down here, down here. Mm -hmm. Also moisture, we're going to dry it out, because that looks at this. So this, I don't know what the, the function, I presume it's to stop. Um, I don't know what it means it for it, but I, I assume it sucks it in the moisture ridden air and kind of condenses it or whatever it does and so but we've got a bit moisture there which is understandable so we're just going to give it a bit of a wipe and um, let's put it in in real time so yep. I'm not sure I've, I've said this fits and indeed it does yes because the foil looked a bit long the foil wasn't going to fit actually so I assume then now that looks really vexed on that side doesn't it mm -hmm. um, so you've got these little clips here you got to press them out, you got to push them out. These things are hard to push them out. As I said, we're doing it in real time. Mm -hmm. One second, just bear with me, bear with us. What is it? I don't touch it, whatever you have to, I've got gloves on, pal. I've probably got gloves on, lad, because I don't want you to, don't want to get anything on it. I think it's just mould. And I think it's smelling a bit whiffy, so I thought, I haven't used it and we've got some clothes to dry, so I want to just get on a review so we can do it. So, um, you got some tabs here. Um, I don't know how that works, actually. I don't want to break it, you see. I presume that's the way you push it down there, isn't it? Where's the other way around? Yeah, that's, that's it, I think. You push it. Yep. You push it in through here. I think this goes straight in the bin outside this. 
Yeah. We'll go in the bin and empty the bin. I don't know what kind of stuff this is going to let loose. So that is pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, the whole thing comes off. The whole thing comes off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. Good. So that's pretty nasty, that. Mm. Look at that. Compared to that. Let's compare. Put one up. That's that. That is I need, I meant to dust it off. I think oh. I meant to. I'm sure that's not right. Anyway. Anyway, needless to say, we've got two. Because I think we'll be changing a bit more up than mm. we did. Lesson learned. They put in the straight in a bit. That's going straight up. I'm going to change my gloves. I'm going to actually do what we're going to do. Just wipe it down a bit. I think that'd be the idea of wipe it down a bit, get some tissue and wipe it down. Yeah. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> that is nasty. <laughs> that is nasty beyond belief, that. So I can't remember if it was white or it was grey at the white. start. No, it was black. I think it was black. Oh, right, okay. Um, mm, um, was it black? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. They put some more gloves on because I've changed, definitely changed those gloves. Right, so what are we doing now? That's nasty. Mm -hmm. You know what? It did smell a bit whiffy when I was putting it on. We're doing a video. Your sister just turned up. So. Yeah, she turned it dirty. We're well, changing change the filter, darling. Okay, so, um, one second. Right, here we go. Right, so we've got a wet tissue. I'm just going to wipe it a bit. Wet kitchen towel. Kitchen towel is always better than um, using um, toilet tissue because uh, it just breaks off. And that's one thing I find when I clean your boots. You know, after I've used the, um, we use the um, boot buddy, which is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And then um, once we use the boot buddy, there's still some stuff on. So use some cleaning soap specific for trainers when it's really mucky. Because you need to always look good. You know, you just look my boot look muddy. Sometimes the um, the upper on the football boots have like grip elements or things like that. And if you're obviously not um, the surfaces of your boots aren't clean, then those grip elements probably aren't working as good, or other elements of the boot. So I always figure, you know, we should always try. Oh, look at that. Is that kind of... No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, actually, to be quite honest. But just for the sake of um, making sure it is right, and we don't do any cause any problems, yep. just wipe it all down. Yeah, so like I said, you know, you need to be changing these things fairly regular. Yep. Lesson learned. I've got two now. I've got two in the pack. It came in the two pack. So after a couple of months, probably I'll change it. Because it's not going to cost a lot. And the benefit of having this is brilliant because the, it is always astonishing. Wait, how long can we have this for? Good couple yeah. of years. A couple of years now, isn't it? Don't change it for two years. Oops. Mm. So that's just going to dry that out now. It's obviously going to be a bit moist anyway with the thing. So get, grab that for us, son. So we've got this. So uh, I presume because it was black on the one side, it goes in like that. And it does fit fine. Yeah. Someone on the, um, on the re re reviews of this product. So we're actually saying, oh, it's too thick. I have to take a layer off, but that looks fine. There's a carbon filter, that doesn't say. Uh, we're gonna press that back in. I presume that's the right way around. Have we got the right way around? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, I think the black side goes in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The blank side goes that side. No, no, it's the other way around. Yeah. It's the other way around, good point. Good point, son. Does it matter? I, I, I really don't know, you know. I don't think so. Oh, anyway, either way, let's just get it in. I need to get this back to working again because we use it so much. It's so brilliant. And now we actually know it's gone white. <laughs> let's see if it turns grey. <gasps> there you go. Look, it's white. Yeah. Put that back on there. That's it. Done. Okay. We can keep an eye on that now. I want to go with a funny colour. <laughs> We don't have to change it. Yeah. That's not very good on me. That's really not good at all. Anyway, anyway, so uh, I don't know how much it was. I don't think it's that much. I think it's about maybe, um, maybe twenty pounds max, something like that. But yeah, that should do the trick. 
Uh, this is a um, company called eBack, it's a, a British company, and it's specifically made for the British climate, which is very wet and cold and dreary a lot of the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. So um, it's perfect. Sometimes maybe you buy one from, you know, to be used abroad, maybe Spain, place like that, it's hot, and then they use dehumidifier. Well, I don't know why you'd need one anyway, but you know, maybe it's not working the right climate. So this is good, and, and apparently they employ, I'm not saying you shouldn't employ, uh, foreign workers but they kind of don't outsource their, their work abroad which is always nice because a lot of these British companies unfortunately do do that because it's cheap labour and they don't they use um, British workers which is nice for that you know in that respect you know British company employing British workers to do hopefully a good job you know you hope anyway um, so that's it just a fairly quick one although it took me a bit of faffing around with it in real time we've got it on it's a great piece of kit. Yeah. I mean, I don't feedback view. Feedback view is brilliant. It's always astonishing when you pull this thing out and it's full of water right to the brim, and you're pouring yes. tons of water, and you think that's all moisture in the air. That's yeah. not good for your, not good for mould and things like that. But it's well worth having. It's really worth having. So one of these. I'm um, so mad though. I was like full. I know, that it is, is it's crazy. Good. So we've got this spare one then anyway, so I'll keep that spare one, keep somewhere safe. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see what that offer a bit of sellotape and let's see the offer, don't get any dust on it. Just tape that up, we'll get some sellotape on it, isn't it? Yeah. Keep that safe somewhere, not um, and not lose it, hopefully. Yeah. Like other things. Yeah. Those bulbs, for example, for the bathroom, yeah. Oh yeah. More. yeah. So anyway, uh, so we finished then? Yes. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.